Greetings, folks. I got another horn that we're going to look at. This is a Selmer Mark VI, 84,000. This is the legendary creature that uh, so many people want on this particular serial number range. Um, as far as I'm concerned, they are what they say they are. Um, they're, they're, uh, you know, there's a lot of great horns in the Mark VI run, um, specifically in this period. Um, what I think is really good about these is the balance between the different elements that we want, such as projection or brightness and uh, richness and lushness, um, um, the spread versus the focus. This is these horns. I think they really got uh, they really got a, a really good balance going um, during this period. There's other horns in different periods which are also really really good, but these just have a certain thing um, that I think a lot of people want. Um, I myself um, prefer them. Uh, for certain things. Um, but anyway, this one's at 84,000. It's in very, very, very nice shape. Um, it's not mint condition. It's been played. It's got little little dings, you know, here and there and things like that. I mean, you know, it's got some normal uh, wear on the left side of the body. You can see there's lacquer, you know, missing um, where it was uh, rubbed or whatever. Um, uh, someone did put a pickup in the neck uh, probably in the 1960s. Um, this is a sm the small version. Um, and you know you can have this removed if you want me personally with a horn like this I just leave it alone and play it because it sounds so good the way it is um, I just wouldn't mess with it I don't care you know about looks to that degree so um, it, it has no effect on the way it plays it just plays great um, the pads are old it's got plastic resonators I bet you some of them are probably original the, the pads uh, um, but it's playing it's playing decently right now um, I would say it needs a setup you know, for me, it would need a setup, but but we're gonna hear how it sounds with a an auto link early Babbitt around a seven that I did. Um, so let's just give it a shot. I'll turn the sound down. We can don't get too much overkill here. Let's see how it goes.
thought I would show it well enough before my kids start screaming. So, uh, well, there it is. You know, that's what these horns are supposed to be. They're kind of lush and bright, edgy and spread. And they're slightly focused and it's sort of right in the middle. Um, I think that's why people like them. I don't think they're, I don't think it's because they're so extreme in one way or another. You know, they're, they're not, they're not super dark. They're not super bright. I mean, but they're, they're just uh, very resonant. Well, a good one. I, the the the, uh, the middle period, the eighty, you know, eighty thousands. I mean, I, I haven't, I've had very few that were that weren't just really great horns. So anyway, um, it's a very reliable period. That's that's the other thing. So someone will enjoy this. Thank you for watching.